Hello, friends, and uh, welcome to another WSIV Truth Matters with Joe Machado. On this Friday afternoon, I hope you're doing well. A little cooler out there today, but I guess it's to be expected. It is that time of year, and we're still uh, very warm compared to uh, seasonal temperatures, so that's good. I'm sure you're happy that the weekend is <laughs> right around the corner, and as most of you know, it's one of my favorite times. I usually have my uh, Friday afternoon uh, happy face uh, on, but uh, today I don't. Uh, today I'm pissed off. I'm really fucking pissed. And uh, I got to share this with you guys. Um, yeah. So here we go. I'm going to tell you about a recent uh, WSIB case audit that I did. Um, started doing those a uh, while back, and I've done quite a few. And, uh, you know, not much has changed over the past year. I think things have gotten a lot worse. Um, but this one really got under my skin. So I can't give you, obviously, particulars about the... Uh, individual and uh, the claim, but um, I can give you enough for you to get the picture. This deals with a recent injury. A guy uh, drove a truck off a ramp, a big cement truck. And they spent the last or the first five years of the claim uh, questioning everything. They denied the claim. They questioned everything about the claim. Um, accused them of things, unthinkable things. It pretty much just destroyed him. Um, they uh, they uh, disregarded the validity of the medical that was being provided. Um, the only thing he did, he did wrong was he had an accident that almost killed him. That's the only thing he did wrong. Everything else, it's just like anybody else, you could probably relate to this, trying to get your claim accepted by the WSIB, answering endless, stupid, asinine, bullshit questions, having your doctor um, question, his knowledge and experience. These fucking people, man, that's what they do. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, they put the guy in the hospital a number of occasions with uh, severe depression and uh, suicidal uh, ideation. Um, they gave him zero support. For the first five years of claim, zero support. There's a reason I'm building up to this here. Uh, they forced him to do two appeals, and um, he went through the the uh, WSIB's appeal services division, which you know I have absolutely zero regard for. He had two different decisions made. For some reason, the first appeals officer didn't catch on, or uh, for some reason didn't authorize what should have been authorized that another appeals officer later on had to authorize. So two appeals, five years going through all of this bullshit. I'm sure you can imagine what can happen in that time. A lot can happen in that time. Um, and, um, and here, here we go. And then they asked or they didn't ask, they basically said that they were going to defer the final LOE review. So they spent five years fucking around. They did nothing to support this guy. And then when they're on the clock, they're all anxious. Oh shit, we got to do this. We got to defer this because now we got to go and do what we should have done. Because there's only two specific instances uh, in the Workplace Safety and Insurance Act 
where the WSIB can defer that 72 month lock-in review. And that 72 month lock-in review is there for a reason, to give an injured worker some peace and some stability and some certainty that at least going forward, after that review, they're, gonna, they're not gonna fuck with his benefits anymore. That's why it's there. Uh, but these assholes use it for an entirely different purpose. They just use it whenever they're not able to do things when they should. Yeah, let's make the worker wait longer and go, and go for another two years or up to two years of uncertainty. So they had, they had all the fat cats sign on to this one. They had the manager sign on to it. They had the director sign on to it. They had the vice president of claims management sign on to it. All these fat cats. Everybody got their hands in that fucking file and said, hey, yeah, okay, we'll sign on. We'll give ourselves another two years to fuck with this guy. Why? Because if you're involved in a medical rehabilitation program that they have to confirm themselves that it is in fact a medical re rehabilitation program. Your, your doctors aren't capable of doing that, trust me. <laughs> Being a little sarcastic here, but I think you can, I think you get it. Or if you're involved in return to work services, they can defer that 72 month lock-in. You know what? Do I agree with their decision to defer? I do. Why do I agree with it? Because they didn't do the shit they should have done before that. Why? It wasn't his fault. It was their fault. Two appeals. Look at all of the time and effort. The, just the waste. The waste of time and effort. Case managers, eligibility case manager, plus several other case managers, and payment specialists. I reviewed this, all of it, all 2,300 pages. And then you had appeals officers get involved in the appeals division, and they got all of their shit going on. And then back again, and then other case managers, uh, WSIB appeals implementation case managers, they have special case managers for this. And in both times, it took more than a year to implement the decision, something that should have been implemented like this, because all the information was there. No, it took over a year. Totally unequipped to deal with things properly. And then you pull in the fat cats because they don't have more important things going on. It's, so you pull in the fat cats so that they got to review this and sign on to the firm. Are you fucking kidding me? This is beyond incompetent. This is remote. There's nothing here that could be remotely considered the, the works of people who are competent. It's cruel. It's inhumane. It's an abuse of power because they distort things and manipulate things to do what they want, when they want. It's just plain sick. It's fucking sick by sick people. Because healthy people in their minds, people who have a sense of morality, people who understand morality and being compassionate, towards others, they don't behave like this. Fucking psychopaths behave like this. Not normal people that go out of their way to put somebody through what they did to this person. Fuckers. So friends, I'm going to leave you with uh, Mr. Smiley's uh, 
tip of the day. And please think about it. Really, really think about it. I've been doing this for over 30 years. I know every game they have, every dirty trick. I know how they manipulate policy and law and misinterpret to serve their own purpose, whatever the fuck that is. But remember this that I'm telling you. If the WSIB denies your claim or entitlement for anything in your claim, get help. Get help. You can't do this alone. You can't fight them alone. I'm telling you. If it's not me or my company, WSIBSettlements.com, find somebody, but get help. Because you can't fight them alone, trust me. I know many think they can, and many have tried. And they'll tell you at the end of the day, they're probably not the same person when they, that when they started. It will change you. Friends, it's Friday. I'm sorry I had to leave you with this, but I had to vent. Because I know a lot of you are going through this right now or something similar. And I have this, I have this sense of urgency within me. And it's been building over the past year to do something, to do something to put these people in their place to stop this kind of abuse by a government organization, our government organization, that the way they fuck with people is just beyond comprehension. So, a toast to the weekend. I hope I haven't uh, ruined your weekend. If you have a similar story like this and you'd like me to tell it for you, I'd love to do that because for as much as you think that you're part of a group or certain people know what you're going through, there's thousands of people throughout this province that are they're suffering alone. They're dealing with this alone and they don't know where to get support. And maybe they're embarrassed. Maybe they're, they're just too weak to fight. Uh, maybe they have a, a lack of a, a, a support system with around them, like friends and like family, and people need help. So if you want to share your story or you know somebody who does, um, I can do an interview with you on the show or I could, you know, uh, tell your story. But um, this needs to stop. Uh, but yes, please don't miss the tip of the day. Get help. It'll be worth it for your sanity. All right, friends, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope you stick around. There's lots of good information to help you with, with your case. As you know, I'm, or you can see, I'm very passionate about what I do. And I don't hold back. That's why the WSIB hates me so much. And when I see bullshit, I call it bullshit. I don't call it anything else. So welcome. And to my subscribers, as you know, I'm always very appreciative of you sharing my videos and tuning in. And as always, my friends, and until next time. Take care.